Hello, adventure riders. Do you know, I love this bike, don't you? I already made a, a test ride and video review about it. But to be honest, on this test ride, when I was riding this bike, it was for just two hours or something like that. So I cannot really enjoy it and cannot really feel it. What, what is actually this bike? So Africa Twin, it's a already well-known bike. This is a model 2018, but it's the same as 2016. So it's the first uh, modification with a smaller tank, 18 liters. But everything else, it's, it's about the same. It's, it's a manual gearbox with clutch, what I like to have always. It doesn't mean that the, the automatic is, is wrong, some, something wrong. No, no, this is just my, my preferences. So uh, yesterday I've got the chance to, to ride this bike for a little longer, something like a few hours on the road and test, test it on, on different terrains like uphill, downhill, twisty, twisty road, uh, corners, even some light dirt roads and just to have more impressions about, about the machine itself. And I say it once when I test this bike, I'll say it again, it's a wonderful machine. If, if Honda are able to drop the, the weight with let's say 20 kilograms and, and uh, the price with let's say two three thousand euros man i will grab it immediately it's a it's a wonderful bike it's it has everything everything what every motorcycle rider will need especially the the travelers it has this uh, 18 inch front wheel uh, eight sorry 18 inch wheel on the back and 21 on on the front it has a 1000 cc engine with uh, 97 or 98 horsepower which is not that much on paper but actually it's more than enough when you're traveling you can actually spend the whole day uh, just riding on six gear that that's powerful this this engine is and the torque is super super cool and the suspension even now from stock suspension you don't need to do anything so i know many people complain suspension is not hard enough uh, or the engine is not powerful but it's these opinions are always always subjective because it depends from where you come from uh, what bike you ridden before of course if you come from sport bike uh, 1000 cc and 200 horsepower go to this uh, honda and start to ride it you'll feel a little bit underpowered but if you're coming from adventure type of bikes uh, 600 cc or even more it's a wonderful machine and i really like the the sitting position it's so good for me and uh, yeah and the bike is, is not that high, so now it is on central stand, I cannot touch really the ground, but when it's, on, it's not, I'm perfectly with flat feet on the ground and I like the position of, uh, of the foot pegs and, and gear shift and brake pad and the handlebar. Actually, the, the bike itself now, in, in its stock condition, it's perfectly set for me, absolutely comfortable, even for standing position, I got exactly what I need. If I bend a little bit my knees, my chin is exactly here on the handlebar, which is perfect for if you want to go off-road. Of course, I still believe that 20, 30 kilos less will be better, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be done, especially if you have experience, you can make a lot, a lot with, with, with this bike. All right. Uh, let me show you some something here around the dashboard. I think they made some small changes in the in the new model 2018 with the with the dashboard. I cannot tell you exactly what, but there are some changes, including this peak. But what is interesting that even if you have a light behind you, like we've got now, you see how visible is the dashboard. You can see all the numbers, everything. Even if you have a direct light ahead, and uh, the way uh, Goron uh, set it with this GPS on the top, it's just perfect when you ride. One minus is the windscreen. I felt a, a really, really serious buffeting in my helmet uh, yesterday when I was riding, but anything else is, is just perfect. And you see, nice, white, fat handlebar, 28 millimeters, the simple uh, tools here. And... Uh, I really like the sound of the stock uh, exhaust and actually I like everything on it. Let me jump off again. Colors. The best part of the bike at the moment of course is the sticker. But you can ride it even without it. Difficult but you can do it. Alright, now what I would like to have is to switch my position with the owner of the bike. 
Goran and because he has this bike from a, a short period of time but for enough time to have experience with it I want him to share his uh, opinion about it the reason why he bought it and many more hold on for a second all right my friend all right put this in your pocket all right the, the first question I want to ask you is why did you decide to buy this machine I took it for a ride for five minutes and after three minutes I knew I wanted it. I saw the bike uh, three years ago, first time ever, when they just came out in a Honda dealership in Mori. And ever since then I just sort of was looking at them and I want to take one for a ride. But when you said that you were coming, I decided to take it for a ride and a week later I traded my GTI and I bought this bike. So actually... Goran is my contact person in Brisbane and thanks to him I've got all this wonderful experience around Brisbane and today wonderful ride and yesterday and the day before on the on the boat you already saw that video so thanks to him not to me anyway you you came from uh, Kawasaki 14 yeah I was always fan of Kawasaki's not that uh, I pretty much like many different bikes and if I can afford I would at least have six or seven but uh, a few years ago I come across TDM 900 I don't know why but it's not so popular bike in Australia but I fell in love with that bike and the parallel twin power delivery and I was able to ride it without having the urge to go fast and after that this is the second parallel twin I've ridden and uh, it's different sort of riding and I still miss my GTR 1400 but can't afford to have them all why, 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 why? Tell me what exactly we spoke a few days ago. You feel more relaxed on this bike, you don't need, you don't I, have I this don't, pressure? I don't have an urge to go fast and I can enjoy riding and scenery more. And uh, it's just a relaxing riding position. You're not in a hurry to get anywhere because you can sit on it for all day. And was it a, a big change to switch from a sport bike to this bike? Not exactly a sport bike, a cover, cover 14, it's a, like a real sport bike. Was it difficult and what you prefer now or, or another question if you got a chance to buy it again will you do it again? If I can have only one bike I would have a, this sort of bike and every mature rider should have a, uh, any adventure bike doesn't have to be Africa Twin there is a pretty much these days model from any brand but the, all depends what you can afford and what size do you like and which brand you prefer but they are all pretty good I would say but they are the best bike for everyday use and a short ride as well unless you want to go around the world like Pauline yeah, all right all right all right so it is okay for me I just cannot afford it but probably one day when they drop a little bit the price I'll be a lucky owner of a uh, Honda Africa twin okay uh, it's obvious that it's a brand new bike you've got uh, like a thousand kilometers on it but how you feel it, it, it I mean what, what do you think about maintenance because you have some experience with uh, with uh, the assembly these plastics here and try to fix some new gadgets like the GPS and all this stuff. What, but, what do you think about it? Uh, bike did just thousand kilometers and went to Honda for first and last service because I service all my bikes on my own. And uh, I think this bike will be easier to maintain than GTR 1400 as long as I don't have to pull apart from of it because it is really complex. Come out quite easy, but it is complex and too many small pieces. I find it unnecessary. I mean, the way that they were designed, but still, I don't think I will have much problem with it. Do you think that this uh, 18 liters petrol tank is small or it's enough to travel around Australia? It's more than enough, in my opinion, because I don't like the idea of bulk of bigger fuel tank. Bigger fuel tank, it's always a nice idea, but we need a break and people don't travel across Australia every week. And if you do, I'm sure there is options to take some extra five liters of fuel if you need to in some sort of uh, container on the back of the bike. And that would be once in a few years or once a year. Tell me a few words about how you feel the engine, suspension and the, 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 the complex, how, how you feel the bike at, at, at all. It's really easy it, to use. It's obvious that you're an experienced rider, but tell me a few words. 
it's really easy to use. I'm an experienced rider uh, on road, but I don't have a much dirt experience. Only by accident when I ran out of bitumen, I went on a dirt road, but I never turn around and go back. Uh, I even managed to get some dirt uh, roads on uh, my previous bikes, but having uh, ridden this bike yesterday for 40, 50 kilometers on dirt, I can see the difference. And even I don't have a proper uh, off-road tires, but even with these tires, difference is huge. And uh, once they won, I will try to do something else because I really don't, can't comment on different tires if I didn't use them myself. But compared to the road tires and the road bike, they are definitely better, especially of the size of the front wheel. You have a more control on the front. I don't feel like I'm losing control and I'm all over the place as I used to be on the road bikes when I got in the dirt. So you, you really like the idea of off-roading, yeah? Oh, at I mean, least dirt roads. We, we can't really say off-road because it's a heavy bike for off-road, but dirt roads like gravel roads. The gravel roads, I said yes, and I'm sort of person who likes the chance of dropping my bike and I would try to avoid uh, really difficult or challenging roads if I can. And the last question I think is the best question. If you've got the chance, you already said if you have one, but I'll say it again. If you've got the chance now to think twice, would you buy it again? I would, after a thousand and plus kilometers on it and only last three days, I would. All right. Okay, so guys, I think this was enough for now. Happy owner. And uh, I can confirm because what I saw and what I uh, learned from him in the last few days and we talked a lot about the bikes and his experience with this bike and uh, with the, the condition of the bike and, and the maintenance of, of the bike and everything, the price and everything. It's a, it's a really, really good bike and really deserve, probably it's one of the bikes which really, really deserve its price because many of the models today are a little overpriced, don't you think? I'm sure overpriced and uh, too complex and expensive for servicing and what really not the point of the adventure bike, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. And uh, yeah, we, we all know that there is uh, inflation and the price needs to go up, but for some models, just I'm not going to say the models, but they just go like, like crazy. So. This, this sort of price, like 12, 13,000 euros in, in Europe and here is, I don't know how many, how many dollars is this here? You know, uh, from 16 and a half to 19, depends which model or is it a brand new one or like a, I bought this one a few weeks ago, but it is 2018 model yeah. and it uh, doesn't bother me really. You can get a really good deal, yeah? Yes, you can. Okay, good. So, as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions. I'll try to post his uh, Facebook down below. He's not really a Facebook person, but he might uh, have some good answers. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Ciao.